Now that we have a power series expansion of sine of x and e to the x, we can use these to derive power series expansions of different functions. So, for example, suppose I want to find a power series representation for cosine of x, then I know the power series representation for sine of x. It's the sum from 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n, x to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial. And of course the derivative of sine is cosine, so if I differentiate this equation I get on the left cosine of x and on the right I get the sum of the derivatives of the terms of the power series expansion of sine of x. This becomes the sum from 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n 2n plus 1 times x to the 2n over 2n plus 1 factorial. And if I write this out, the uh, expansion for cosine of x is 1 minus 3 times x squared over 3 factorial plus 5 times x to the 4 over 5 factorial, etc., etc. And we see that the 2n plus 1 in the numerator here cancels, and I get cosine of x equals 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the 4 over 4 factorial minus x to the 6 over 6 factorial, which is the sum from 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n x to the 2n over 2n factorial.